is Haley from OneOnRabbits.com and in today's video I thought it might be interesting to see how I'm going to be redoing the bunny's shelving area. So ignore the echoing. I don't know why it's so echoing here, probably because I don't have anything on the walls. But I have a lot of stuff in the room so don't really know how to fix that. So basically what I'm going to be doing is like the shelf area just has a bunch of toys in it that are just like half eaten and scattered around and it's really messy and I just want to redo it and make it look super nice. So I'm going to show you what it looks like right now and then we'll go ahead and get started. So first we have their ramp that comes up and then I have plexiglass uh, guarding the window just because um, I think this is wood and the bunnies could potentially chew it and replacing windows is really expensive. So we just have plexiglass up so that they can still like see but it's like protected. So that's what we got there and then they can just look outside not like they really do but they like sitting in the sun so uh, then I have this extra large seagrass mat from my shop um, this willow teepee that is quite destroyed uh, and then over here is a seagrass teepee that is destroyed there's literally hair chunks on it like look at that that's how destroyed it is and then we got this little toy which someone's chewed a little bit on this was probably a willow ball at one point and then over here is just a timothy carrot that's what it's called it's from oxbow and then we've got a rattle roller a willow ring that's been shoved in this corner and then a bunch of other toys that were shoved in this corner Anyways, then there's this ramp um, that leads up here, and this area is a complete disaster. Uh, I like to have grass mats under their hidey houses because otherwise they destroy fleece if, they're, if fleece is under the hidey house. So actually, this is not fleece, this is lettuce. <laughs> and then this hidey house is a complete disaster. Uh, there's stuff in there as well that's ripped apart. Uh, this is from uh, Chewy.com and they don't really chew on it, but I just keep it in there for like decoration. I've got a seagrass bowl, some wood chunks, some more wood chunks, and this used to be a sea, uh, seagrass tunnel at one point. So yeah, everything is destroyed. It needs to be vacuumed and <laughs> replaced with all fresh new toys. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and do today. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I finished and I'm pretty happy with it. I might change some things eventually, but uh, hopefully I can get the lighting okay for you guys. So this is their tunnel leading up to the first shelf. And in this corner, we have this seagrass bowl, which I have on my shop. If you guys are interested, this is the size large. You can fill it with like hay and herbs and treats, but I don't like putting hay on the shelf area necessarily just because it gets everywhere and I don't like to vacuum this area like every single day. So um, yeah, then we just have this Oxbow Timothy carrot, which the top fell off when I was putting it in here. So it's just the base of the carrot. Uh, these are like willow chunks in there and then this is their rattle roller which I also sell on my shop if you guys are curious. Uh, Sterling loves this thing and he like chews it and throws it all the time uh, but it's held up quite a bit. This is I've had this for like about a year now so then this is a mini willow ring which 
come on, I don't know why the lighting is so bad. So this is the mini willow ring and uh, it was hidden in that corner before so I put it out here. And then right over here we just have this old fruit balsa fling which these are normally infused with fruit juice but as you can see the rabbits ate all the fruit juice off of it and it's just the balsa wood left. Uh, balsa wood is like very like... Um, like I can stick my fingernail in it. That's how like soft it is. So it's super easy for them to chew. Um, but this one's pretty old. But I leave it in here so they can like chew on the wood if they want. Uh, and then this is from my nibble sticks, which I also have on my shop. Um, I don't know what kind of wood this is. There's like five different types of wood in there. Um, but this is another chew. This one is willow, I believe. And then this is from their willow teepee. It just fell off, so I just set that there. Um, like I said before, the extra large seagrass mats are on the bottom. And then I put two of these triangle folding seagrass tunnels. If I can show you in the inside. So as you can tell, these ones that were in their shelf area before are destroyed. That's what it used to look like. And that is now gone. Do you want that? Yeah? Okay. <laughs> So anyways, I put new ones in there. He is chewing on the old ones. So I might keep the old ones for them to chew on. I don't know because they're both chewing on them, but they're just so yucky looking. <laughs> but they like them, so I guess that's good. So anyways, uh, this is their seagrass folding tunnels and then an extra large seagrass mat under there. And then they have their other tunnel leading up to this corner shelf. And this just has the Ikea fleece and the extra large seagrass mat that's a little bit chewed. Then we have a piece of the mini maze haven, but you can punch this little hole out so that there's an opening on top. But I kind of wanted them to feel more secure in this Heidi house uh, just because this is their main Heidi house now. I just don't want it to be too open and for them to feel too exposed. But if this was more just for like a playtime item, I probably would punch that out so they could hop through it. Um, and I might punch it out in the future too. I don't really know. But yeah, that's what I have there. So they can go inside and chill out. Then this is the towel on top of the Willow TP. And then this is the tunnel from Chewy.com. It's like by the company Wear. I do not recommend it. The rabbits don't like, I don't even know what type of wood it is, but they don't like the taste of it. They only liked the taste of the willow that's on like the borders. Um, also, Sterling can barely fit in it, but he tries. <laughs> Sterling, <laughs> this is not <laughs> for you to try to escape. <laughs> He actually has jumped from here to the um, hay bins, if you guys were curious. Uh, but yeah, on the bottom we have a double woven large seagrass mat that they can chew if they want. This is the large willow ring chew, but as you can tell, there's like one stick left on it because they've chewed so much of it. So I probably will replace this soon, but I'm just waiting for him to finish it completely. <laughs> He's like, get that out of my face. Um, here, come here. What's this? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was so cute. Oh, it's so hard to see. He's like not even interested anymore. He just wanted to take it from me. But uh, these are more uh, chews from the Nibble Stick collection. So if you guys want some of those, but I just had them in the corner there. And then, uh, yeah, that's a piece of the tunnel, uh, seagrass tunnel. And that's basically it. Sterling is so adorable. He's like, this is so fun. Where are you going? <laughs> He's so excited right now. Um, do not try to stand on that. That's not gonna end well. <laughs> what is he doing? He is insane. He's found some sticks to chew on. Again, I don't know what type of stick that is. I am not very good at my stick detective skills. <laughs> I think it's like an apple stick maybe or a pear stick. Not sure, but he's really enjoying that.
All right, Ebony just came up and she's exploring. See, she fits through that tunnel pretty good, but she's pretty small. She just went in here. We can see that. No. She's like, I have to sniff everything. Uh, but yeah, that's basically it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys very soon on a new video. Bye!